Hi and welcome to The Winning Factor. I'm Alan Aiken and on this show each week we take a look at uh, some upcoming races in Hong Kong and try to isolate an aspect of the race we might look at as a path to finding the winner. Well, a mixed meeting on Sunday at Sha Tin and the first race we're going to take a look at is race 7 where our winning factor is the Dirt Kings. So we go into the all-weather here for a Class 2 and most of the attention is going to focus around Majestic Star, ridden by last season's runaway top dirt jockey Zach Purton. Hugh Bowman's ride Chan Cheng Prince will have supporters. The standout dirt trainer Frankie Law saddles up Youthful Deal. And further down the weights I think there'll be fans for Goko Win and Reward Smile. Now, as I said, it's a mixed meeting. So far this season we've only had four dirt races. We have another four on Sunday and towards the end of this month we have a full dirt meeting at night at Sha Tin. So I thought it might be useful to take a detour and have a look at something we don't bring up a lot on this show and that is breeding. Because I certainly think uh, people do find it a bit useful when it comes to assessing where the horses are going to perform on the dirt. So I've gone back over the last few years, the last three seasons in fact, and uh, there are some issues obviously with doing stats on dirt here, mostly around numbers. Uh, dirt racing is only about 9 or 10% of the Hong Kong program and some stallions who are performing well do it on the back of just one or two horses. Carpe Diem for example has won all four of his races on dirt in Hong Kong thanks to his only runner on dirt in Hong Kong, Chan Cheng Prince. So that gives a bit of a skewed view, but that isn't the case with Deep Field. In the past three seasons, he's had the most dirt runners, the most individual starters, the most wins, and the best edge on market expectations. Deep Field is well and truly the gun dirt stallion in Hong Kong. And that's handy for this meeting on Sunday because Deep Field has three runners and one in each of three of the races. They'll all be hard to beat, but the standout for me is this fellow, Youthful Deal. And uh, just to put not too fine a point on it, we're going to have a look back at the last time he ran in a race like this uh, last season. It's back on June 4 against uh, a number of the same horses. So this is race 719 last season. He's in gate five, green and yellow colours. And keep an eye on the grey Chan Cheng Prince too in the home straight. But Youthful Deal uh, jumps well, does good pace on throughout. And Vincent Ho just lets the leaders go. He parks in fifth and really is never looking like anything but the winner throughout this race. It's only a matter of when Vincent lets him go. Now just note, Chan Chen Prince inside him is held up there uh, at the 250 metres and then makes ground late when he gets out. But that's really only because Ho lets the winner coast to the line. Now even the handicapper didn't miss that win and uh, there was a significant uh, handicap penalty for Youthful Deal coming off that, uh, but uh, I think he's well up to carrying it and the, uh, the turnaround with uh, Chan Cheng Prince, uh, it's sizeable, but I think he's capable of handling that too. And uh, Youthful Deal also has the benefit of having had a race this season, albeit finishing last in an unsuitable race on the turf. But he also gets a soft map here. Now we have had a couple of the same speed horses from that video, Majestic Star, this time from a much better draw than we saw in the replay. And Campione is also engaged, as well as another regular front runner, Exponential, making his Class 2 debut. With two of those horses pressing from wide gates, they'll provide real speed, uh, youthful deal camps behind them again and I think Vincent Ho's main job here is going to be to be aware of gate one and making sure there's somewhere to go when the serious work begins in the home straight and he isn't getting stuck behind weakening leaders. So the tip for me in race seven, youthful deal. His winning factor, the Dirt Kings. Youthful deal, he was a little bit of a disappointment early in his career on turf but He's been a revelation since he switched to the dirt, and why wouldn't he be? He's by the dominant uh, sire in Hong Kong for dirt horses. He's trained by the far and away the best dirt trainer in Frankie Law, and I think that's all going to count for something when they line up on Sunday. The second race I'm taking a look at uh, for Sunday's meeting is race eight, where our winning factor is the map. 
Now some smart gallopers engaged here, another class two, this time for the Yan Chai Trophy. And there might be cases made for the likes of the Golden Scenery and Find My Love. But to me, the race is about two runners. Vincent Ho's Mount Dancing Code and Zach Purton's ride, Supreme Lucky. Both of these horses have progressive profiles, top jockeys, and they're coming off a last start win in class three and upper grade, which is something we always look for. So let's have a look at what they've been up to. Firstly, on opening day, race nine, gate seven, green with a red cap for Supreme Lucky. And this was a terrific Zach Purton ride. This horse has been difficult at the jump at times in his career. And in this race, there was a risk he might get back and be brought undone by an unsuitable lead tempo. But Zach changed the game, rode hard to get him out and across to dictate the race and let the low pressure mid-race work for him, not against him. It was a different style for the horse and there were some anxious moments late in the piece before he scraped home as a warm favourite. Now Dancing Code also had uh, some anxious moments uh, before winning as a favourite at Happy Valley last start. Now uh, he's a horse who always gets a lot of attention uh, due to his owner, a very high profile owner called Aaron Kwok, a legend in uh, Hong Kong um, music and movies and always the Hong Kong public puts plenty of money on this horse and they backed him into favour at Happy Valley where he left it till very late. This is race 35, he's in gate nine, black and red colours. Dancing Code jumps well, but Vincent Ho very circumspect with all the speed inside him and lets the horse drift back to get closer to the rail. And he's a long way off the front runners at the 400 metres and still more than four lengths away at the 200 metres. But after all the early speed, there's a big change as the leader pops at the 100 metres and here's Dancing Code charging over the top of them to take the prize. Now two different styles of victory, but both impressive in their own way at 1200 metres. Both horses now tackling 1,400 metres for the first time in their lives. So that's certainly an issue for each of them. But I think they come to this race as the two standout form horses. So how do we separate them? Well, I think the map is what we use. Because when we take a look at how this race sets up, um, perhaps if we hadn't seen from Supreme Lucky what we saw last time, perhaps the map would be as tricky for him as for Dancing Code. But uh, that extra string to his bow now that he can be put forward in a race and still find at the finish gives him the tactical edge. There really isn't a lot of serious speed here. Sylvester is sharp early and Luke Ferraris likely goes looking for the front. But most of the other speed in the race comes from horses who aren't really looking to lead but just looking to sit somewhere behind the pace. And I think Purton will use that last start effort as a guide to his tactics on Supreme Lucky, tag the leader across and forward. Perhaps Ho and Dancing Code will also look to be closer now that he's up in distance, but the eight barrier does look to hold a few more trapdoors for him. So the tip in race eight from me is Supreme Lucky. His winning factor, the map. These two horses come with a similar form and it's a great tactical battle, I think, uh, aiming up here between Ho and Purton. But I think that the draw and the way the race maps up is going to give more choices to Zach Purton on Supreme Lucky, and that's going to be the difference. Well, that's it from the winning factor this week. Good luck on Sunday. We'll see you next time.